Hi everyone, today we are going to be multiplying fractions with other fractions. And this is a, a bit of a weird one today because when you multiply fractions together, you, the, the fraction actually gets smaller, which is really bizarre. But I'm going to show you visually how that is the case. And you guys are going to have a go at this as well. OK, so to show this visually, um, in school we showed you the area model for solving uh, fraction multiplied by fraction. So I'm just going to quickly refresh your memories on that. So if you've got fraction multiplied by fraction, the first thing you need to draw is a rectangle or a square. Doesn't really matter. OK, so our first fraction is going to go along the top here. So it's going to go along this edge of our shape. So we need to split it into quarters. So we've got one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and four quarters. So we've got one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, and one quarter. And then when we multiply it by um, thirds, we need to then go the other way and split it at the, the other edge. So I'm going to split it into thirds going this way now. So I can see I've got one third going across, then two thirds, then three thirds. So again, I'm going to write those in one third, one third and one third. OK, I can see now that on my shape, I have got 12 new blocks. OK, so I've got 12 new blocks. So therefore, that is actually going to be my denominator because I have multiplied my quarters by my thirds. And I can see that I've got 12 there all together. But I'm trying to work out what is one quarter times one third. So I can see here my one quarter times one third is going to fill up this box here. OK, so now I've shaded in one out of 12. So therefore, one quarter times one third is one twelfth. OK, following that same method again, we're going to do that the same, but with two quarters times one half. So again, we're going to um, draw our shape, either a square or a rectangle. Going along the top will be our first fraction, and I can see that that's going to be split into quarters again. And then going the opposite way is going to be split in half. So I need two equal parts going that way. So instantly, I need to quickly count how many blocks I have created. So I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know my denominator is going to be eight. OK, now I need to do the multiplying. So I'm good this time. If this is one quarter, I don't want one quarter. I want two quarters. And I'm multiplying it by one half going this way. So I know that this is going to be all shaded in because that is two quarters times one half. So how many out of that eight have I shaded? I have shaded two. So therefore, two quarters times one half is two eighths. OK, so now I'm going to quickly show you the school method that we used in school after we practice and practice and practice that area model so that you had a really secure understanding. So our quick, easy method is to just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. OK, so in this question, I've got here six ninths multiplied by two eighths. I need to multiply the numerators. Six times two is 12 and I multiply the denominators. So nine times eight is 72. So therefore, um, six ninths multiplied by two eighths is 12 seven seventy twos. However, this can be simplified because 72 is in the 12 times table. So we could simplify this to one sixth because if 12 divided by 12 is one and 72 divided by 12 is six. OK, other questions you might get today are where you might have to multiply mixed numbers together. 
And a bit like the adding and subtracting yesterday, we need to first of all convert them into improper fractions, because then we can just use our method of multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. OK, so I've got one whole and three quarters. So my one whole is going to be the same as four quarters. And I've got three quarters left over. So that's going to be the same as seven quarters. And then I've got one whole and seven ninths. So my one whole is going to be the same as nine ninths. And I'm going to add my seven ninths to it. So that's going to be the same as 16 ninths. OK, so now I can just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So first of all, I'm going to do this one. So 4 multiplied by 9 is uh, 9, 18, 27, 36. So my denominator is going to be 36. And then I need to do 7 multiplied by 16. You might find that a bit tricky to do mentally. That's absolutely fine. We just need to quickly use our short multiplication method. 16 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42. 1 times 7 is 7 plus the 4 is 11. So it's the same as 112 36. OK, you could leave that as an improper fraction or change it into a mixed number. It's entirely up to you. OK, and there we have it. That's our, our quick tutorial into multiplying fractions and a little bit into mixed numbers. Um, so you now need to complete your three tasks on your home learning sheet. Good luck, guys. See you soon. Bye.